How are you doing? We welcome you to Karen Call's uh, job, job Hotline. I wanna, my name is William Molina. I'll be your host today for today's program. Uh, we're presenting today the Greater West Town Training Partnership Program and also West Town Academy High School. So today I have a guest with us that's going to tell us a little bit about the Greater West Town Shipping and Receiving Training Program. We have Mr. Tom Rio. How are you doing, Tom? I'm doing good. How are you? Good, good. Good, good. to have you on. Good. Um, for those of you that are out there that are watching, if you're looking for a job mm -hmm. and we know that the market is still competitive, even though the market is good, uh, it's still a lot of competition out there when it comes to getting a job. Uh, if you need the support and help to get the training under your belt so you can go out there and be able to compete, trainings such as the ones they offer at Greater West Town are very essential. We have a shipping and receiving training program. So, Tom, why don't you begin by telling us a little bit about the shipping and receiving training program? Well, there's more than a little to talk about, but the basics are you come to the program and you will learn uh, the fundamentals of shipping and receiving. Uh, you learn how to process orders. You learn UPS and FedEx World Ship. You will learn safety training. Uh, you will help you with your job readiness. So help you with job interviews. We help you with your resume. Uh, what we kind of look at as well too is when you get through the program, we also then help you with. Um, hopefully, we will help you with uh, getting a job at the end of at the end of the twelve week training program as well too. We also have, and this is the big piece for a lot of people, is the forklift certification. And it's not guaranteed that everybody gets it, but we give everybody an opportunity to. Get on a forklift and learn how to drive one. That sounds really good. You gave a lot of information there. I want to break it down a little bit. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, no, no problem. I understand. It's just that you got a lot to offer. That's a good thing. It'd be terrible if you sat there and said one thing. So uh, basically, tell me, uh, so a person comes, how do they find out about the program? Well, um, they can find us. I think we have a Facebook page. They can, places like this as well. Hopefully they can talk to one of our previous students as well. Um, when they find out about it, we do go through an orientation process. So okay, talk to me a little bit about orientation. How did, so I call, what happens? How do I get to orientation? So you, you call Greater West Town. Um, they'll set you up for an orientation. We do the training roughly three times a year. Um, we go through an orientation period. You sign up, you come. Uh, we'll talk to you about the program. Uh, to, you know, things that I just talked about in the beginning. Also let you know it's a 12-week program. You're there Monday through Fridays, 8.30 to 3.30. The big thing is you come and you treat it like a job. So how long is it for you say? It's 12 weeks? 12 weeks. Okay, and so it's Monday through Friday. Monday through Friday. Friday. out there, it's a full training. So this is only, this is full-time school, in other words. Yeah, full-time school. Like I said, we also, you know, we treat it like a full-time job. I tell people, think about this as, this is a 90-day probationary period. You're mm -hmm. with us. We want to see how you do. We want to help you tweak those skills you need to have tweaked. And then we'll hopefully set you up with the right employer to get you hired. But we want to see that you come in and you treat it like this is your job. It's just not a blow off that you come in. Oh, I'm going to come in and do this for a bit. No, because you know your success is important to us, and it's also very important to the community. So tell me something, people out there that are listening. You hear the word school. Well, I haven't been in school in years, and you're terrified about coming back to school. Or oh, you might think, well, my math is not as up to par. My my reading is not up to right. par. I believe you guys all offer remediation classes for that too. We do. We have English and math remediation. We also offer uh, computer skills as well too. So depending on your skills, and they will vary with people. We'll start you off with the very basics on how to get on a computer. You know, again, that's important with shipping and receiving is. We uh, have an inventory system that's computer-based. So learning how to do that system, learning how to do UPS and FedEx as well, you know, uh, learning to do your resume and having to redo your resume. Now, let me back up a little bit. Now, when you're talking about, okay, they're learning uh, how to use a scanner, right? Yes. An RF scanner. Now, is this only a classroom scenario or? No, no, no. Uh, I'm glad you brought that up because it's what is important is when we talk about school, there is some... There is uh, school classroom work. But what we like to do is classroom, and then we have a fully functional warehouse. So mm -hmm. we do lots of mock warehouse activities. Uh, you'll learn to, you know, you come in, you'll actually get, do a scenario where you will get, a, get an order, and you'll have to either receive it in or you're going to be shipping it out. So ideal day for you would be you come in, you might have me for uh, Shipping that day, I'll talk to you about some of the basics in shipping, and then we go out in the warehouse and we actually practice it as well, too. Yeah, I was reading a little bit of your information, and it said that you, you guys run a mock distribution company. Yes, we do. So basically, if you're listening out there, this is excellent. We're talking, they're talking here about hands-on training. So those are skills you can transition into the world of work. So everything that you're learning is actually something that you're going to use in the job market. And nowadays, like I was saying, the market's competitive, and there's a lot of people out there that have skills. If you're sitting at home wondering, you know, is this for me? 
I, um, I'll tell you, come out to an orientation. I believe their orientations are on Wednesdays at 8.45 in the morning. I'm going to put the address on the screen for you. It's a Greater West Town Training Partnership, uh, Shipping and Receiving Training Program, and it's located at 500 North Sacramento Boulevard. Uh, the number you can call for more information is uh, area code 312-563-9028. Uh, there's also a website you can go into to look at and get more information. So orientations are mostly on Wednesdays at 845 in the morning. So uh, call ahead and reserve a seat. Uh, don't sit there at, on your couch to do something about making your life better. So we ask that you call that number on your screen and ask questions and set, set yourself up for an appointment. So Tom, what are the qualifications for somebody to participate in this program? Uh, Illinois resident, um, we usually take someone of, of lower income or displaced workers and that. So really, you know, you come to, the, you come to an orientation, we'll talk to you, we'll take a look. If you bring um, any documentation that we ask you for as well, when you call, they'll let you know. So, you know, we, I, so you, we, we, we keep it open to most people. You said documentation. Is there a cost for the program? No, it's all free. And that, so you come wow. to the program, if you make it in, then we, uh, it's no charge to you. That's a good word, free. Oh, we, I see we have a caller. Caller, go ahead. Hi. Hello, hi. Hi. Do I need a high school diploma for this program? Uh, we just finished answering that question. You called right on time. Uh, according to what was told uh, by Mr. Rio, no, you don't need a high school diploma to participate in this program. No, we can also if you're we can also help you uh, help you with your GD as well too. Um, we have uh, staff who does help help individuals work through and do practi do their practicals, so they then are prepared to go get a GD. Okay, and and, and will you guys help me get get a job afterwards? Yes, we do. Uh, after the 12 weeks, or actually leading up to those 12 weeks, we've right now we're at we're currently in the middle in the, towards the end of a class. We're like week 11. We have one person placed. We have three who just did interviews, and we've had three or four already set up for more interviews. So we do help help you with job placement. We have a 90% a uh, success rate in placing people in in work. Uh, in jobs, and actually those are the best fitting jobs for them is what we like to do. We're just not going to randomly throw you out to any job, especially a part-time job. We want full-time uh, full work for our students who come through. Okay, thank you. Great, thank you for calling. Um, that number I'm going to put on your screen again. There's the number. Come on, uh, get off your couch, pick up your phone, give, give a call right away to Greater West Town. Uh, schedule your appointment and um, get the ball rolling. So at, at this moment, I want to present uh, Mr. Charles Thomas, who is a student of, of Greater West Town's program. Yes, sir. How are you doing, Charles? All right. That's good. I'm glad you could be with here us today. So tell me, um, what made you apply for the program? Well, prior to uh, the program, I had some experience in a warehouse where I, I just didn't, wasn't able to actually grow within the company. I didn't have the knowledge and the skills um, and the certifications for certain job requirements. So as I was sitting on a uh, couch one day, I happened to click on uh, CAN TV. Oh, so you watching CAN TV. Wow. All right, yeah, great. And this is, uh, it's been a real big impact in my life. Okay. Uh, so tell me, what do you like best about the program? What I like best about the program is that you have the opportunity to actually get out into the uh, warehouse and actually do hands-on training. I think that that is so important. Uh, we can have a lot of head knowledge, but if we don't have any experience, I think that that can be a uh, hindrance to us. In yeah, that program. that's a very good point. That's yes. a good point. So an average day, you come in, what happens? Give me a, in a nutshell, what happens? An average, an average day in the, in the warehouse or in the training program is simply, uh, it's like a, it's a real job. It's a, it's a real job where you come and you sign in and most importantly you get out into the, uh, the field of the workhouse and you have instructors there to walk you through the training and they're there to actually help you and correct you where there's, where there's error and they'll congratulate you if, you know, if there's certain things that you've done right. So it's really an immaculate program. I really thank God for the experience. Well, that sounds really good. So what are your plans after graduation? After graduation. Wow, I uh, look forward to getting out into the warehouse industry and uh, really kind of show off the skills that I've learned through this immaculate program. What advice would you give somebody who's sitting on the couch right now looking, saying, 
should I call? What should I do? What advice would you give that person? Yes, I would say this. Uh, if you're trying to um, get, some, get ahead in life, one of the things, it's one thing to have an education, but if you don't have any certifications for the job requirements that is being re uh, requested from these companies that you desire to work in, uh, it defeats the purpose. But through this program here, you have the opportunity to have hands-on experience under some instructors that really know what they're doing to where when you go on that job site, they'll really look at you and say, wow, you're an asset instead of a liability. That sounds really great. That's great information. This is coming directly from one of the students from the program. So uh, if you're sitting there and don't have any more doubts, grab the phone, make a call, the same way Charles did. And uh, Charles, you, look, you sound really optimistic and really positive yes, about your experience yes, there, huh? Definitely. Okay, that's fantastic. So uh, I want to thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedule to training and a lot to sit down here with us and discuss Greater West Town. So uh, you that are sitting out there, give us a call as soon as possible. And, and call Greater West Sound, 312-563-9028, <clears throat> and so you can have that same type of experience that, that Charles had. And as you can see, he's really benefiting from the program, and they do offer job placements, so not only will you get trained, but they also offer you the opportunity to, to get a job. And later on, I'm going to call back uh, Mr. Rear to come on up here. We're going to talk a little bit more about job placement. But at this moment, uh, we have another guest with us today. Uh, he is from the West Town Academy. Uh, how are you doing, Mr. Weiner? Yeah. Right. How are you? I'm, I'm doing, doing good. good to see good. you. Uh, well, you are. Tell us a little bit about what you do there at, at West Town Academy. Okay. Um, at the West Town Academy, I teach U.S. history, sometimes political science, depending on the course offerings that we need. Um, but other than that, one thing I've come to learn is, as a staff member at West Town Academy, we are not just teachers. We are mentors. We're administrators. We're here to make sure that our students are successful in gaining their high school diploma, not a GED, their actual high school diploma. Okay. So. Class size, average um, class size? The, the average class size, it depends on the class that you're in. The smallest class that I've ever taught was 12 students. The largest class that I've ever taught was about 22 students in it. Um, still, it's significantly smaller than what you're going to find in most of your public schools around the city of Chicago. So what do you find? What types of students are coming through the door and why are they coming to you guys? Why aren't they in the regular high school? That, that's a great question. So one of the first thing to know about West Town Academy, it's a dropout recovery school. We're not your typical charter. We're not trying to steal students from the Chicago public schools. We are specifically there to help deal with the students who have already left the public school system. Um, our students are between the ages of 17 and 21. Again, they're high school dropouts. Um, we have students from all over the city, from the hundreds down south all the way up to Rock Rogers Park and the North students who come from Austin. So we have students who span the entire geography of Chicago. Um, in addition to that, uh, we have students who have been through a number of different challenges in their lives. We have students who became teen parents. We have students who have been incarcerated before. We have students who have been wards of the state. Um, and but for the most part, one of the things that we see amongst all of our students, mm. they want to earn their high school diploma. Right. Um, they, they understand that there was a time in this city where if you dropped out of high school, you could find yourself a good blue collar job where you can make enough money to buy a home. You could send your kids to uh, college. You could save up for vacation and retirement. We know that this isn't the case anymore and that the bare minimum education that you need to be successful in today's economy is a high school diploma, which is, again, what we're offering. So this is not a shortcut. This is actually you're going to school, you're going to classes, and you're having that, that mm. high school experience. This is the real deal high school experience. Um, the school day starts at 8.30 in the morning. It goes until 3.15 in the afternoon. Uh, we use block schedules, which means classes are 80 minutes long, which might seem very long to most people. But what we found for most of our students is they actually prefer being in these longer classes. They felt like at their old school when they had 50 or 40 minute classes, mm -hmm. they were just starting to get into the information, just starting to understand it, and then the bell rings and they have to leave to go on to their next class and the cycle repeats over and over again. Um, but by having these 80 minute block periods, students really feel like they have an understanding, a much greater depth or grasp of what it is that we're trying to accomplish. Um, in, in addition to that, we have all of the regular courses you might find at a typical high school. Um, we've got your social studies courses, multiple math courses, integrated science, um, multiple different English classes. Um, on top of that, we have a senior transition course. Um, 
we understand that a lot of students, when they graduate from high school, they have trouble moving on to the next phase of their life, whether it's they go to college, they go to the armed services, they find a job in the workforce. Um, through the senior transition class, what we have found is that we can help students to apply to college, to jobs, or to the armed forces, help them uh, form a resume, write a cover letter, um, send in their applications, help them deal with scholarships and the like. Wow. Yeah. You, guys, you guys cover the whole game. We really try to get yeah, everything that there. That's really good. Yeah. <clears throat> and and the, the size of the school you said was relatively small. Yeah, relatively right? small. Um, depending on Probably. where our enrollment is, we'll have anywhere between 120 and 160 students in the school. Okay, so it's a great. very small setting. One of the best things about this school as a teacher, I know every single student when they're walking through the hallway. Mm -hmm. There's none of that, hey, you, get over here. It's I know this student by name. I have a relationship with them. I can say, hey, can we talk for a second and hash out whatever issues are going on. That sounds really good. Yeah. If, you, if you're a parent out there and you're watching the program right now, you have a, a student, I believe, between the ages of uh, 17 and 21 years old 17 and 21 years old and they're looking for what to do as far as getting their education and finishing uh, this is a great program uh, it's located in the same building at 500 North Sacramento now I'm gonna put the address up on the screen there now it says Greater West Town uh, Partnership but it's also the same thing they also uh, operate West Town Academy the, f the address and everything is, is the same 500 North Sacramento Boulevard uh, the phone number, instead of 563-9028, it's five zero, uh, 9044. So it's 312-563-9044 if you're listening. If you call this number, uh, 563-9028, somebody can still direct your call over to the academy. So it's not a waste of time to call either number. So um, I invite you to give a call. Uh, it's a great school from what I hear. It, um, it definitely provides the support that students need. Uh, smaller, smaller school settings are actually really good because uh, you get more individual, individualized attention. And we have a student here that is actually from West Town Academy, uh, and uh, your name is? Destiny Davis. Destiny Davis. Welcome to the program today. How are you doing? You good? Mm -hmm. good okay. Good. So tell me, what do you like about West Town Academy? Um, I like the classes and the teachers and all the things you learn in class. It's like hands-on and they teach you and they take time to teach you. Mm -hmm. And the uh, length of the class, it makes it like 10 times better. Okay, so do they have for sports programs, anything of that nature? Uh, yeah, we have a lot of extracurricular activities. We have dance teams, we have kale teams, football, basketball, um, flag football. We have, what else? We have student council, we have poetry slams, we have, mm -hmm. and more. So you do trips and all of that? You do mm -hmm. college trips also as yeah. well, right? Okay, that's great. So it, it, you're, it's a full day of activity, you're learning, and, and what led you to West Town Academy? Um, I haven't, I didn't go to school for four years, so um, one of my, one of the mentors at my school actually contacted me and told me about the school, and um, I went and I applied and they accepted me, and most schools don't do that. Like, four years out of school, you really have no choice but to get a GED, but they offered me a high school diploma. And, and what led you to leave your school where you were at? Um, just family issues. Is issues, like, okay. Yeah. Yeah, and we find that a lot of students out there struggle. I know there's, um, they have issues with either attendance or they have issues with, you know, situations at school being bullied, things of that nature. In a smaller school setting, I think you would agree, is, is you feel a lot safer. Yeah. And you got a lot of support there, don't you? Mm-hmm, and you keep it safe. What would you say to a student that's out there wanting to, to, uh, move over a little bit this way what, what would you say to a student that is watching right now that's out of school? What would you say to encourage them to make that phone call? Um, it doesn't matter what you've been through or your past things that you have gone through. Education is the most important thing. And I can say at West Town, they give you a great education, a great setting, great teachers, great mentors. And it doesn't matter, like, if you don't feel comfortable, they make you feel comfortable. You're wanted. And... Everybody needs a high school diploma, and West Town offers that. That's fantastic. Well, thank you so much for being here with us today. Um, the number is on your screen uh, for you to call. It's uh, 312. You could call 312-563-9028, and still they'll transfer you over to West Town Academy. It's an alternative high school with uh, teachers that are very effective at what they do. It's a smaller environment, so you know you're going to get the support that you need in order to be successful. We know that young people struggle a lot at school. They have different issues and so on. 
Uh, the school is located at 500 North Sacramento Boulevard, the same location where our shipping and receiving training program is located. Uh, so just give a call and uh, get the ball rolling for yourself. I mean, education, like our young lady on the, uh, was saying, it's very, very important. So if you want to make it, uh, don't wait till tomorrow. Don't procrastinate. Get it done today. Uh, I asked Mr. Rio to come back on uh, up here because we want to continue a little bit more about the shipping and receiving program. Now, um, before I continue, I believe we have a caller. Uh, go ahead, caller. Hello. Hi, I had a question. Um, you know, I was thinking about making a career change, but I don't know if the industry is really open to having like women. Are there a lot of women in the in the field? Receiving training program you're talking about. Oh yeah, There's, yes. Yeah, either one. Okay. Yeah. No, I, I, yes, the industry is open to women. Um, <clears throat> you know, comments from our employers as well too is what women bring to it as well too is there's a certain attention to detail that that women will bring to a job that men don't typically mm -hmm. bring, and it's very important that you're in a you're a, uh, an attention to detail type person. So. Uh, the industry, yes, it's it's opening more and more to women, um, and you know we women on forklifts as well too, and I know that's a draw as well too, do very well. But it's that attention to detail that women typically bring to the job that really makes them uh, makes it a big positive for our employers. And the thing is, now today you would agree there's nothing any more non-traditional. I think women no. are in every yeah. uh, gamut of yeah. the workforce. We have another caller. Yes, caller. Hello. Oh, how can I help you, sir? How you doing? Hi, good. Yeah, I, I, I'm wondering about uh, your 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 program and 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 about if you would accept people who might have had uh, run-in with the law in the past. Okay, people um, that have criminal backgrounds. What do you what do you have to say? What would yeah. they have an opportunity to? They do have an opportunity. You know, we take it on a case by case basis. But uh, we have currently we have uh, individuals in our program now who have backgrounds. Um, Again, we're, part of what we will do is we'll look to put you in the right right position to succeed in the, and then with employment. So um, we know backgrounds could be a challenge. Other people have different challenges as well too. But you know, we will we'll help you out. Well, what, what, when, 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 how, how can I get into the program? What do I have to do right now? Right now, you can you can call the three one two five six three nine zero two eight number. They can set you up with an, uh, a time for the orientations. It's it's uh, Wednesday at 8:45. Um, class is going to start sometime in February, so this is a good time to call. Um, and then when you come to the orientation, we'll walk you through the program, talk to you about it. We'll do the tour of the place, and you'll get a good idea of what it's all about. Okay. Th thanks a lot. Thanks a lot for your call. So. Tom, I wanted to uh, address the placement part of it. Okay. So a student that gets placed now. We heard people, we have people with backgrounds, and, and I believe you work with employers that are believe in second yes. chances. Yes. And, and um, as far as what relation do you have with employers? How do you develop these jobs? So we have individuals who are job developer, myself as well, too. Um, you know, you get out there and you meet employers. Um, you, not so much cold call, but they, you know, we have a reputation. So Greater West, West Town does have a reputation. Um, and we have people who know us, um, and we built those reputations, so it does make it much easier. It makes it a better fit for us to place our students. Do you have with an employer employers. advisory also? Employer advisory, so we have them come, and they talk to us at least uh, three times a year, and they talk to us about what's new in the, in the industry and, you know, what could better serve them as well, too. Yeah, I want to touch back on that sure. again in the advisory, but we have a caller. Yes, caller? What's your question? Hi. I... I didn't quite hear what kind of jobs will I be placed in if I successfully complete this training program. So are there jobs where it's physically de physical demanding jobs or are there jobs where I could be a clerk or tell me more about the placement. So the job is going to depend on the individual as well too. So we do what we, we kind of talk about job matching. So if we think you're a good candidate, we'll look at job descriptions that our employers hand us as well too. And we'll look at those. And if you match it, we can, if you match the description, we then will hopefully get you placed, we'll at least get you an interview with them as well too. Um, some jobs are going to be physically demanding. You, you, you know, we ask you when you come, if you can lift up to at least 55 pounds, um, uh, when you come. So again, we'll, jo we'll match you. So some jobs can be more physically. Some may want you to be able to, like I said, your computer skills, your attention to detail may be 
what they're more or less looking for. Hey, thank you for calling. Um, we got to wrap up our program. So um, all I want to tell you is if you you got a lot of good information today, two excellent programs, Westtown Academy. You also have the shipping and receiving training program. So feel free to give a, give a call, and, and I'll put the number one more time up on the screen so you can see it. There it is, 312-563-9028. So give a call. Your future begins today, not tomorrow. So uh, we want to thank our guests. We want to thank everybody for being here with us. We want to thank you for, for giving us an opportunity to come into your living rooms. Have a great day.